Okay, okay, I'll settle down. <coughs> okay, okay! Those guys just don't understand. I know what you mean. I've been after that fly for the past two days. <gasps> I'm not a fly. I'm a gecko. I know, so no danger for you. Hi, I'm Vinny. <laughs> so what's up with that fly, huh? It's like he's nuclear powered or something. I know. Some flies are just impossible to catch. I remember one time I was tracking a fly for a whole week, and just as I was about to catch him, somebody opened the door and out he went. Ah, oh, bummer. Oh, one time I was out chasing flies near the dumpster, and I got scooped up by the garbage truck and taken to the dump. Whoa. I'll bet there were a ton of flies at the dump. Why didn't you just stay there? Because there's not here. Good friends, huh? The best. See the tall blue guy with the big eyes and a tail? He's my best bud, Sunil. He's a good guy. But if he sees a spider... Oh, oh. oh he's got arachnophobia? Oh, no. He's just super afraid of spiders. So you should probably make sure he doesn't see you. No problem. I get that all the time. Some pets have a thing about spiders. But, like I said before, he's got nothing to worry about. Unless he's a fly. <laughs> he's not. He's a mongoose. Yes, I know. Thanks for helping me drop off this stuff at the thrift shop, Sue. I'll treat you to a frozen yogurt at the place next door before we head back. How do you have so many clothes to give away? You're not that old. Well, these are from a couple seasons ago. <sighs> I love this place. There's so much cool old stuff here that I always get so inspired. Oh, hi. Dropping off a donation? Yeah, just some old clothes. I haven't seen you before. Did you just start working here? Last week. I'm Cora Dixon. Isn't this place awesome? I always find something new for my wardrobe. Me too. I'm Blythe. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask. When did you wear this? <laughs> I forgot. I brought along some used pet fashions I designed, too. Do you guys take those? Pet fashions you designed? Yep. I have a little line called Blythe Style, sold exclusively at Littlest Pet Shop. Consider my mind officially blown. That is so cool. Are these sequins? Bugle beads, actually. I was considering sequins, but... Oh, no, you definitely made the right choice. It looks amazing on this Shantung fabric. Thanks, Cora. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Guess I'm hungrier than I thought. How about that frozen yogurt, Blythe? Oh, Cora, this is my friend Sue. Hi, Sue. Are you a designer too? No, I just came along for the frozen yogurt. Oh, I made this one for the most adorable panda you've ever seen. But she grew out of it. That is way too cute. Can't wait to see what else is in here. Oh, I love this stitch work. Blythe, why don't I go over and get us a table next door? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Oh, hi, Sue. What are you doing at the thrift store? Well, I was helping Blythe drop off some clothes, then we were going to grab some frozen yogurt. Were? Yeah, it was weird. Blythe made friends with this girl named Cora, and then they started talking about fashion stuff, and the next thing you know, I'm out here talking to you. <laughs> Our girl does love her fashion. Is this silk or cotton? Cotton, and it took me forever. <sighs> well, I'm sure she'll be finished soon. You want to get some frozen yogurt? That's just where I was headed. <laughs> What is going on here, my friends? Going on? Huh. <laughs> nothing going on. Right, pets? Right, pets? Nothing, 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 nothing. Forgive me if I scoff at your attempt to deny the evidence my own narrowing eyes have provided me with. Upon approaching you all, I distinctly saw your fevered whispering morph into the quietness you are now exhibiting. Uh, I'm lost yet. Forgive me. <laughs> Vinny, lay some proof on me, my brother. Slip me some proof skin. Is there something going on here that I'm not a part of? Very well. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, 
gross. Oh, dude, don't ever do that again. <laughs> yeah, it's a deal. Do you think Sunil suspects anything? No, I think he bought it. We are going to have to be more careful in the future, though. Now, Weber, how about finishing your exciting story? <laughs> I don't know. Please! Okay, okay. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, this crow is obviously seeing me, and I'm thinking, I'm a goner. What do they take me for? Some kind of fool? It is obvious that something is going on. Something that even Vinny is keeping from me. Oh, Sunil, you silly boy. What kind of occurrence would Vinny be keeping from you? Allow me to answer myself. They are planning a surprise for me! That's Zoe. She's a for real show dog, and it's really fun to design for. So cute. Love the outfit, too. Aw, that's so pretty. Thanks. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the fashion shots, I guess. Blythe, those designs are awesome. What's your next step? Next step? For Blythe style. Your design choices are so cool. I definitely think you could apply your pet fashion sense to people, too. Uh, I don't know. That's a big jump, and I'm not sure I'm ready to make it just yet. Oh, I think you could totally nail it. I mean, people are a kind of animal too, right? Maybe you could use your pet fashion sense for inspiration. Well, when you put it like that... Come on, let's load you up with some inspiration. Now remember, Blythe, think pets, but design for people. Right. Thanks for the encouragement and all the great fabric and stuff, Cora. No problem. Ugh. Hey, careful! Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. Sue? What are you doing out here? What did you do? Buy out the whole store? <laughs> Looks like it, huh? Cora inspired me to try my hand at designing clothes for people. Can you believe it? But we've suggested that tons of times. I know, but I always figured you guys were just being nice. But Cora is not just being nice. Huh? Anyway, young me and I are going to play some tennis. Wanna come along? Uh, sorry, I can't. Too many ideas bouncing around in my noggin. I gotta strike while the inspiration's hot. See you guys later. Wow, what's with her? Don't worry, she's just excited about trying something new. Hey, fashion genius, you forgot some of your stuff. I'm guessing that's Blythe's new BFF. I hate to say it, but I think we've just been demoted to the rank of second-class friends. What is this unusual new structure which has mysteriously appeared in the corner of our day camp? So, what do you think? Do we have all the supplies we need? Supplies? As in party supplies such as birthday hats and cakes? Oh, my! I think we do. Now we just have to finish putting it together. Putting it together? Are they assembling a surprise present for me behind this wall of kibble? Do we have the room? The room? Don't tell me they've invited so many guests to my party that they've had to rent a party room! Why they would be doing so much when my day of birthing is not for several months is beyond me. But that must be part of the surprise! Oh, goody, goody! Yes, we have the room. My measurements are very accurate, and I double-checked everything. Hey, everyone. I just want to thank you for making this great habitat for me. Littlest Pet Shop is your home. We want you to be happy here. I just hope word doesn't get out about this, because then you'll have every spider in town coming here. Uh, I hope not. I can't imagine hiding that many spiders from Sunil. <laughs> OMG, Cora sends me the funniest text. Check out this lolcat. cat. <laughs> Where does she get this stuff? So anyway, I was thinking we can go downtown and catch a movie on Friday night and then hang out at the mall on Saturday. Uh-huh, sounds good. Where in the world do you get this stuff? You are the funniest. Or we can make a day of it, go to the mall movie theater and hang out afterwards. They have a new fried dough kiosk in the food court. What do you think, Blake? <laughs> Another one? Cora, you are totes hilaire. Blake, could you please stop texting Cora? You had to hang up on me last night so you could text her. Really? Because I texted her last night and she didn't even answer me. <laughs> Cora just sent me a picture of a little cat dressed like a supermodel. <gasps> what? I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> if it is taking all of my friends' everything to put together my present, then it must be a very large and impressive present indeed. <laughs> okay, everyone, we're pretty much done. Let's take a break. Now's my chance. It won't hurt to take a little peeky weeky, will it? No, Sunil, it will not. <laughs> I am so excited about these. I've got 
to share this with someone. Or two. Call Young Me and Sue. Calling Young Me and Sue. Hello? Hi, guys. Mind if I send you a pic of my latest design I'm working on? Us? Are you sure you want to send us a pic? Sure. Wait, why are you whispering? Because we're at the library where you said you'd meet you. OMG, I totally forgot. I stopped by the thrift store on the way home and Cora gave me the greatest idea. So why don't you call her? Yeah, we know you know her number. Uh, what have I done? And now to take a peek at the amazing present my good friends have made for me. Clean, 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 time to clean. Clean my legs till a shiny sheen. Clean, Running clean, water clean, and singing, clean. what kind of present is this? introduction I've ever experienced. Guys, there's an actual spider living in the dead camp with all of his hairy eight legs and his shower cup and his body wash. Peach scented. The other pets have been to the place to live in. What am I going to do? Okay, first you need to calm down. <sighs> I am calm. You are not harboring any spiders in here, are you? Let's just say no. Now, Sunil, I think you're overreacting. I mean, I'm not a scientist or anything, but I do know that even though they look all alien -y and stuff, most spiders just go about their own business. But I think spiders are scary. I understand. But ask yourself this. If the other pets like the little guy well enough to build him a place to live, how bad can he be? I suppose you are correct. But spiders are scary. I know. Come on. Let's go talk to this scary spider. Okay. Wait, what? Wow. This is awesome. Yeah, thanks, Blythe. Uh, everyone pitched in. What do you think of the spider hider house, Sunil? Is it escape proof? No, he can come and go as he pleases. Then I do not like it. Sunil! I'm simply telling the truth. Hi, my name is Blythe. What's yours? His name's Weber. Weber? Oh, that's clever. Well, why is his name clever? Well, he's a spider and his name is Weber. Not following. Allow me, Blythe. He is a spider and his name is Weber. Weber. Spider. Webber. Get it? Oh, 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 Weber! Yeah! I don't get it. Never mind. Hello, Weber. Can we talk to you? We? As in you can talk to me? I can. <gasps> Steady. You're not gonna start screaming at me again, are you? No, are you going to start screaming at me? Nah, I'm ordinarily not a screamer, but I was startled when you pulled back the shower curtain. Sorry about that. No, please. I am the one who should apologize for invading your privacy in such a brusque manner. You being in the shower with your peach body wash and all. Apricot. Apricot, really? Yeah. I find peach scented body washes to be a little strong. Interesting. So, fear of spiders, huh? Yes, always. I've heard it before. Something about our hairy eight-leggedness, right? Yes, something like that. I'll grant you it is irrational as are all phobias. My phobia is ghost cows. Ghost cows? Yes. I have this irrational fear of being outside in the middle of the field at night when a herd of ghost cows comes out of nowhere and starts chasing me. Okay, your ghost cow phobia beats my spider phobia. Now I have a ghost cow phobia too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Weber, for a creepy crawly spider kind of guy, you're all right. Thanks, Sunil. For a nervous Nelly Mongoose kind of guy, you're not so bad yourself. Whoa, oh, easy there. Sorry. <sighs> I wish I could solve my friend problems as easily as you guys just did. What's wrong, Fly? Well, I made a new friend, and I kind of messed up by not paying as much attention to my old friends as I usually do because I was excited that my new friend is into fashion as much as I am. The bottom line is that I don't know what to do to fix things. Hold on, everyone. Yes, Weber? Um, well, far be it from me to chime in on a situation I don't know much about. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I do it all the time. But it sounds like all of your friends, the new one and the old ones, just need to get to know each other. That is a great idea. Thanks, Weber. Oh, yeah. All right, everyone. I cannot stand the suspense any longer. Cut clean. What is my surprise for reals? What surprise? Oh, well played, Pepper. 
Vinny, as my good and bestest pal, I demand that you reveal the real surprise that you all have been working on for me. Go on, tell me now. No, no, no. Uh, uh, your real surprise? <laughs> sure. Um, um, well, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. A real surprise for you was to give you the gift of not being a scaredy mongoose around spiders. Surprise! Surprise! Okay, thanks. Hi. 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 First, I want to thank you for both eventually answering my numerous calls and texts and agreeing to meet me here. And I also want to apologize for neglecting you. You're both my best besties, and even though I didn't do it on purpose, the way I treated you was... Hey, Fly! Oh, hey, Cora. You remember Cora, Sue. And Cora, this is young me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> nice to yeah. meet you, Cora. Hi, Cora. Mm -hmm. Hi! Life talks about you guys all the time. She, she does? does? Oh, yeah! Young me this, Sue that. It's cool that you're so close. We are close, which is why I want to apologize to you both. Like, we want to apologize to you for the way we behaved. Sue's right. We should have been more understanding about the reason you hit it off with Cora. I mean, we like fashion and all, but not as much as you two. You guys are the best. Yay, friends! Okay, now, I've got some presents for all of you. Are these your first people fashion designs? Yep. You, all of you, were right. 